<laughs> oh, so my night just keeps getting better. It just keeps getting better. Like, honestly. I love it. Okay. So, I made one of my posts about Islam. <laughs> the one that I was really, really angry in. And, uh, this guy named Muhammad <laughs> left a comment. And at first he's like, the baboon is angry. And, and he called me a baboon. And I'm just like, oh, well, baboons are adorable. I love being called a baboon. Because, <laughs> oh, have you ever seen a picture of a baby baboon? I found one with one like sticking its tongue out and I sent it to my sister because it was really cute. And she just had a baby, of course. And so I thought to myself, oh, Kennedy, the little baby. Oh, so cute. And the, the baby baboon was absolutely adorable and it's sticking its little tongue out and stuff. Oh my God. Anyway. So that was just the other day. So he, he called me a baboon, which, come on. <laughs> oh, that doesn't even sting. <laughs> but uh, he called me a baboon, and, and so I responded to that, and then I went to go take a shower. came back. <laughs> the guy had a, edited his original comment to not only say that I was a baboon and that I was angry, but to say that I should be flogged in public and oh my god, I hope that this is a joke. Just just to be generous to this guy. But I hope it's a joke. <laughs> you know? And then he responds with, oh, you're giving American women a bad name. Like, I don't know. No, I'm not. I'm, I'm one of the smart ones because I'm not going to buy into the bullshit, you know? And quite honestly, I don't care what you think about me. You can think I'm a bitch all you want. You can think I'm an angry baboon all I want. From my perspective, being an angry baboon is a lot better than being on the other end of an angry baboon. And here's kind of what my response to that was. I was basically like, yeah, I'm, I'm one of the smart ones. I'm not the stupid one. I'm not the one giving American women a bad name. That's the feminists and the people who are supporting Islam and being like, oh, the brown Muslim people, they need the protecting and stuff like that. And quite frankly, I find that a racist, but then I, also very ignorant as to, you know, the ideology itself. <laughs> and the reason why I hope it's a joke, because the guy was seriously, seriously did put that I, I needed to be flogged. Uh, my other response to that was, uh, if any man ever did try to flog me, I'd probably go after his testicles with a rusty AIDS-infected knife. That's what you get when you get a baboon like me. So, I embrace that. Call me a baboon if you want. Call me queen bitch if you want. I don't give a fuck. You're not gonna intimidate me. You're not gonna scare me. If anything, all your comments do, if they're not a joke, is prove my point. If that's what you really believe, which I hope it's not. I would like to give you the benefit of the doubt. But I can only go off of what I, 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 I'm seeing. <laughs> and it's funny, because I love insults. I absolutely love them. Because the fact is, is that when I see an insult, it's never based on who I am. And, and I don't take the insults personally. What I take personally is when people <laughs> tell me I'm wrong. And then they don't, they don't explain why I'm wrong, how I'm wrong. They don't address any of my facts or, or evidence. Or they give me stupid non-arguments. That's what pisses me off. The insults don't, don't bother me at all. <laughs> I mean, they're funny. It's like, it gives you such an insight into the other person's mind. It's like... And, and I try to piss people off, like, anonymously <laughs> online, too, because they just find it funny. It's like, you find somebody, they start talking about something, right? And it's like, they'll say something like, I ain't never gonna get married because I don't want a woman to steal my money. And they'll start talking about how other guys are dumb and stuff like that. And then I'll just say something like, oh, well, <laughs> you're just bitter because you can't get a good quality woman. And then they'll start, you know, 
refuting or, you know, just getting more and more upset. And the more that you talk to them and, and, and try to push their buttons, the more they come out. And I really enjoy that. I, I enjoy seeing people's inner psyche because they don't even know that they're showing it most of the time. And the best way that you do this is, is to make them angry by bringing up something that actually hits close to hope. And <laughs> so I'm kind of a bitch in that sense. I, I love pissing people off and I'll do it until I get bored and then I block them. <laughs> because my whole point is to piss them off. And, and hopefully to make them think a little bit because it's like if you're an 18 year old boy and you say to, to someone, oh, uh, I would never marry somebody who doesn't make as much money as me. <laughs> First of all. Um, oh, God. And, and it all has to, like, boil down to, oh, women are stealing money and stuff. And, and I get that. A lot of women are, are really big bitches, but there's a lot of women out there who just want to be, you know, like the stay-at-home mom, and they don't care about the money. They just want a good, strong husband who's going to take care of them, and and, and they're not out to, to get divorced and steal all his money and shit like that. And I was trying to make this point to, to one guy in particular, and I basically told him that he was just bitter because he couldn't, he couldn't afford to attract a high-quality woman. Because a high-quality woman's just not going to want somebody who's poor and doesn't work. You know, they want somebody successful, somebody high on the dominance chain and stuff like that. Anyway, it's really fun to push people's buttons like that, especially when you have an understanding of the basic culture in the United States and what's going on. And, and it's very easy to pick up what thread that they're currently working off of, what narrative they're currently working on, of, and you can challenge that. And I do it through reason and, and insults and and a lot but but most of the insults I get directed at me are like well you're just probably fat and stupid I'm like, <laughs> uh, no no I'm not fat and stupid I'm really pretty I I enjoy looking at myself so I know I'm pretty I might be fat but I will be the first one to tell you that the fat positivity movement is absolute garbage and I can tell you that it's detrimental to anybody who b buys into it, okay? And so, if you call me fat, I just don't give a shit. If you call me stupid, I know it's not true. If you call me ugly, I know it's not true. If you call me a baboon, I will embrace that. Because I shall be Queen Baboon. I hate all of you. I hope you all have a wonderful day. No, I don't really hate people. <sighs> I hate stupid people. So if you're stupid, I hate you. Essentially. Bye.